Dar de psicopatii? Vă zic? Da. Cum că? Acai. Te cuan. Eh, what the fuck, Pam? Sounds like shit. I thought you took it out. Uh, what do you think of life? Hey, loves! Welcome back to Vlogmas. Today, I'm doing a very requested video. I am doing my... Well, it's not really mine. It's uh, Jonathan's mom's. Thanks, Julie. It is her coquito recipe, and it is the best coquito recipe. If you don't know what coquito is, it's a Puerto Rican kind of like holiday drink. Everyone always makes it around Christmas and for the holidays. And I specifically wanted to release this video Kind of in the beginning of the month, the best way to make it is to make it in the start of the month and have it kind of sitting in the fridge for around two to three weeks so that it really gets the flavor. I have seen a lot of different recipes. This is like one of those things where everyone has their own little recipe. I even see some people make it with egg whites, which to me is weird because this is not eggnog, it's coquito, which is a completely different thing. Okay, there are no egg whites in this recipe. This recipe is super simple. So a few things that you will need to make the coquito today is you either need a mixer like this or a blender. I usually do it in a blender, but this holds a lot more capacity so I can make the full recipe because the recipe I make makes a lot. A wet, wet measuring cup, some dry measuring spoon, a can opener, and the actual ingredients that you will need are two evaporated milks. If you can't find these in a grocery store near you, you definitely should order it online because none of these ingredients are replaceable or removable. All of these are necessary to make this recipe what it is. You need to use everything. One condensed milk, sweetened, just regular sweetened condensed milk. You need one coconut milk, leche de coco, and you need one crema de coco, cream of coconut. Make sure you get actual cream of coconut. It should be kind of hard. Don't get like the cream that they use for cocktails and stuff like that, like a pina colada mix. No, that's no good. You need like an actual cream of coconut. And I will link these products below too because I'm pretty sure you can find them on Amazon. Then we need vanilla extract, of course, for everything that's holiday related. Cinnamon powder and cinnamon sticks. So these are both important and necessary. We need nutmeg. And lastly, you need some rum because this is an alcoholic beverage. If you are not of drinking age in your country, you can make this without any rum and it will still taste Amazing. So you can either buy bottles in the store, like in Michaels or Amazon, to put the coquito in. But I like to use old bottles of like wine or like whiskey. And I usually put like a really cute Christmas ribbon on it and it looks really nice. Oh, I just hit myself. So I don't make these in any particular order. I honestly just put it all in. And the only thing that doesn't really have exact measurements is the rum. I usually put anywhere from half a cup to a full cup. You can put it to taste and be really careful with it because this recipe is so sweet. This recipe is so sweet that you can easily put a lot of a lot of rum and you won't taste it. It tastes so good and everyone gets drunk really fast. So just be careful with it. Don't go too crazy unless you want to go too crazy. I mean, whatever. Do you, boo? But oh no. Take three. No, it's two. What? Oh. Take two. No, now it's three. Take you messed four. Up three. No, now it's five. Right. Take six. So, step number one is actually you get the bottle that you're going to put the coquito in and you get a cinnamon stick. Oh, this is close. Can you open this for me? Yeah. This is what boys are good for. It's open things and you don't want to use your nails. So you're gonna put this inside. And now we're just gonna combine basically all of these first. Oh, now we have the coconut milk, it smells so yeah. good. Totally it's gonna take a while. We got our second bottle of evaporated milk. Oh yeah. Oh no. Yeah, what did you think? Oh, this is so good. And you're gonna put the whole can of condensed milk in there. That's right, the whole freaking can. But you know what? It's the holidays. You gotta treat yourself. Next step is rum. I'm gonna put three fourths cup of rum. And then we're gonna taste it and add as desired. And for the rum you use, I usually use any white rum. You can do a dark rum too, but I just feel like white rum is more subtle, like for the recipe. Three fourths cup of rum. Vanilla extract, I always just put a little sploosh. There's no like. It's a 
that's a sploosh. Half a tablespoon of cinnamon, one fourth tablespoon of nutmeg. Depending on how much you like cinnamon and stuff, you can put more or less. I don't feel like taking this little rubber thing off, so I'm just kind of like winging it. Like I said, you have to mix it all together and then you taste it and you add things that you think would be necessary. I typically like my stuff really flavorful, so I just put a little more, but I'm gonna close this up and mix it. Oh, oh shh. I'm doing it in a blender. Why? Right, so I'm whipping out the blender because this is not working out. So like I said, you have to... How the fuck do you take this out? How do, how do I take this out? Oh. Ooh, it's creamy. That looks good. Alright, I'm gonna try it. Oh my god. Needs more cinnamon and nutmeg for show. Take whatever. I use these things. The vlog camera died, so now we're using like the serious camera. But what I was saying is that it's a little thin, but that's why I said it's best to kind of make it ahead of time because it actually thickens when it stays in the fridge for a long time. I just feel like it needs a little more flavor, so I'm gonna add a little more of vanilla extract because you can never have too much. A sploosh. It's a good sploosh. Some more cinnamon. It tastes like it has no rum at all. It's insane. Like, that's so good. That's why I said it's dangerous though. It's more rum. It doesn't taste like rum at all. It's like that funny video of like this uh, like white lady making a recipe and she's like, two shots of rum. <laughs> and she stands there for like 20 minutes. Yeah. I should do that. So I think the best thing to do is to make one batch that's strong for the people that like a stronger drink and one batch that's not strong for the people who don't really want all that much alcohol and then that way there's something for everyone. Mmm, that's perfect. Now I can a little, taste the rum like a little bit, but it's just right. So now we're gonna go ahead and put it into the bottle. This is another important tip. When you fill up the cup, leave a little bit on top because you need to every once in a while shake it because if not, all the cinnamon and stuff sits at the bottom. So every once in a while, you have to just like shake it up a bit so it's all mixed up together. And the best bottles are ones that are not corked. So the cork actually sucks up some of the moisture and then it comes out weird. And that is one bottle of Coquito. So I made a funnel by breaking it. plastic. It was like what, 50 cents? Yeah. Oh yeah. Genius. That's pretty good. Did you put a cinnamon in that one? <gasps> oh no, I forgot. Alright, so what did I add here? Okay, more rum. Go on. Sploosh! That was a sploosh. Now let's mix it all up. Mix it all up. By the way, this super cute blender is only $25 in Target. And it looks really cute. So, just so you guys know. <laughs> Excellent. Whoa! What the hell? It's really strong. <laughs> Ooh, I put too much! I'll put more vanilla extract to hide this. Actually, you know vanilla extract has alcohol? That's really strong. Hey, that is a surprise bottle. It's bottle. like our last piece of paper towel. We have more. Where? Ta -da! I know everything. Like, where would you be without me? Nowhere, honestly. Who are you talking Nowhere. to? Nowhere. You! What are you calling them now? My subbies. Your subbies? My no, that's not cool. That's lame. Your girls. Those are your girls. My girls. <laughs> that sounds weird. Hey, What's bitches. Up? Bitches. You know what? This is my non censored channel. It's my black channel. Like, I ain't gotta please nobody. So, I mean, I call my friends bitches. I'm like, hey, bitches. She called them queens. It's like, no one calls her friend, hey, queen. It's like, weird. Actually, it's a lot better now that I added um, more flavors to mask the alcohol. So this recipe yields basically two 750 milliliters, milliliter bottles in a half. So if you want to make less, just cut the recipe in half. It's just easier because the recipe is like one kind of this, one kind of that. So it's just easier to just make it all in bulk so you don't have to like cut the can in half. And now for the grand finale. Ooh, and it was and now, for the grand finale, I will attempt to tie a beautiful bow around this. Suck at bows, so no promises. Let's try this. You know what? Life is all about trial and error. You know? You know what I'm saying? This is what I got. 
Wow. So here is the final end product. Oh, that does look nice. I promise I'll get better at doing bows and then I'll show you my updated bow. But this is what I am working with now. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little recipe vlog. I had a lot of fun showing you. I know Jonathan's mom is probably going to be a little upset that I'm sharing her super secret recipe. But I think this recipe is just too good to not to share. To not to share. To not share. I've had way too many horrible coquitos. And I think that the world deserves to know about this recipe. So, I hope you guys give it a try. And I would love to know what you think if you try this recipe. And if you've never had coquito before, this is going to change your life. I highly suggest making it as early as possible. Like, especially if you want to have it during Christmas. You could drink it right away too. It tastes good. But I found that the longer you wait, I mean, not like too long, not like a year, but if you give it like a month or two to three weeks to really sit there and like, I feel like the alcohol becomes a little um, milder, like it's not as strong, but then it's really, really good. I will see you all next time, next Vlogmas video. Right? Goodbye! Mwah! Peace out, guys.